Welcome back everyone to the TexasTech.tv pregame show. Travis Cram alongside Courtney Davis here to preview the Kansas versus Texas Tech game happening on Saturday at 2.30 p.m. at Jones AT&T Stadium. Tech, of course, Courtney coming off a tough loss this past Saturday to West Virginia. Thought they had it there at the end, 14 point lead in the fourth quarter, but a 55 yard field goal seals it for West Virginia and they end up getting their first win versus Tech in the series. It doesn't get much more heartbreaking, I'm afraid. And you saw it across the players' faces. You saw it in the stands. Everyone just kind of sat there in disbelief. A 55-yarder, you got to tip your hat to the Mountaineers for that. A phenomenal field goal. But again, you probably shouldn't have been in that situation. And that's what's been preached all week long here inside the football facility is finish games. When you are there, you have a 14-point lead in the final you know, quarter of of the game you've got to put the guys away and that's something this young team will learn but it definitely didn't make Saturday hurt any less. Yeah it was an interesting game of course Tech's offense getting all those touchdowns each one averaging over 50 yards during the game you had the great play by Devin Lauderdale coming out of nowhere to make some of those huge catches on Saturday Dylan Cantrell with another phenomenal catch and then the great play by DeAndre Washington out of the backfield. He's continued to be a bright spot for this offense, a consistent one. Him and Bradley Marquez, every game you know they're going to show up and just continues to get stronger as the season goes on, and you like to see that. But he's going to have his match made this week as Avery, the back for the Kansas Jayhawks, comes. And Coach Kingsbury knows he will run it straight up the seam, up the middle. You've got to contain him, and he will be a huge part of the game plan as the Jayhawks come to Lubbock on Saturday. They've had their own adversity this season, but really have found some flashes of hope and have played well the past two games. What do you see the most out of the Jayhawks first defensively? They played really well. It's, it's a senior-laden group on defense with a lot of savvy who's played a lot of football. And so they'll come in here confident with the way they played and, and we'll have to play our best game. Offensively, they do have some skill players. Where do you see maybe the biggest threat on the offensive side of the ball? I think, you know, the way they've been running the ball, Avery is, is a young guy, but he's been very, very efficient, and they're going to try to get him a lot of touches. What's the biggest thing you're looking out of your team this week, whether it be offensive or defense or more of a mental? Just finish. Yeah, just finish the game. If we can get in that situation where we have a chance to put a team away, we, we've got to finish it. Yeah, you probably couldn't have said it any better than the coach did right there. Finishing games, you got to do that when you're 14 points up in the last quarter. That's getting inside the end zone, of course, when you have first and goals, and of course, winning the turnover battle and getting points off turnovers when you get those opportunities. That's the key this week. That's the X Factor. You, your defense, they're playing well under Mike Smith. They're energized. They're playing together. But when they get you the ball back, you have got to capitalize. You're only able to do that. You're only able to get a field goal once the defense gave you the ball at the 20 last week. Turn those points into seven instead of three, and I think it's a different ballgame. We'll have to wait and see what happens at 2.30 on Saturday as Texas Tech takes on Kansas, that game on Fox Sports. Then come back over to TexasTech.com and TexasTech.tv for Courtney's recap, all the highlights and post-game interviews. And, of course, you can follow the game along on Twitter, at Tech Athletics and at Tech Game Day. For Courtney Davis, I'm Travis Cram. We'll see you next time here on the preview. Home we about to clown. Why? Because it's about to go down. It's going down. It's going down. I'm yelling timber, you better move, you better dance.